I'll give you heaven, give me a sign. <laughs> well, I think the first thing to say about the experience is that it's always nice to be in an environment where you talk to other people about what you want to do and what they want to do. And uh, sometimes you find points of similarity and um, often doing very different things. And it's always nice to um, compare and contrast what you're doing and what other people are doing. That way you can maybe figure out whether you're crazy or not crazy. Um, in terms of developing the project itself, um, I think we get the chance to spend some time thinking about the project and do some little experiments and tests on it. Um, what's nice about this environment is that you can do those tests without really worrying about whether you achieve something that properly stacks together. Uh, in one day, so you can do something quite simple and not really worry about whether it's going to be good or bad. You just try it and um, maybe you get something useful from it, maybe you don't, and that's okay. Uh, there have been a lot of activities that have been fun uh, to do with uh, being asked some stimulation questions. Kind of a lot of stimulation questions have been asked that have just been about us as people and our backgrounds and our histories. Uh, and then we've been kind of given tasks to complete where we use various different bits of technology to try and express an idea or, um, or ask a question. Um, specific projects that we've been working on, any time you're provoked or invited to uh, create something from scratch quite quickly, um, it's quite nice. And um, <coughs> doing these bits of work where you have to uh, have an idea and turn it around really quickly, that's always a good a good thing because if you don't have the time to um, overthink, you just have to get on with it and uh, accept the ideas that are coming from other people and, and roll with it. So um, roll with it and Oasis always say you've got to roll with it so you know, I think we can all uh, buy into that idea. The project I applied with was to make a game called Bhutan, which is a, a social game about discovering the substance of happiness. So, Bhutan is this really small country that's supposed to have the happiest population in the world because they exist in a state of flow where they have quite a simple life. They produce uh, enough to live and be happy and uh, they have managed to avoid a lot of the trappings of modernity that make things uh, arguably more efficient, arguably. Um, so that's where I started from uh, and that idea sort of evolved and changed into something a little bit different. It's now um, a game about power, about uh, who, who controls power and what they do with it. So how resources or values or, or things in the world are allocated to what they do with their power, how they use it, uh, who they use it for. Um, so that's not going to have a, uh, an actual uh, life outside this process, so it's going to be publicly played. Uh, in May, uh, and the workshops, the drift workshops, have been a, a useful springboard to kind of get me moving into the uh, design and practical development of, of that project.